<laughs> this is every Mad Max film ranked. Straight in at number five, we have Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. This is the final installment of the original trilogy, and this one continues Max's nomadic journey through the wasteland and sees him stumble into some mishap in a new location called Barter Town. This is a town that's run on pig feces, essentially, uh, or the methane from it, and is ruled by a despotic figure, which you'll be familiar with having watched Furiosa. Not this figure, but you'll be familiar with that sort of format. Yeah. Uh, in this case, it's Tina Turner. Oh, right. Okay. Yep. But How long after the first one is this set? It's within six years is the films they came out. Okay. So if you wanted to, I th they might want to stretch it a bit. They make him look a bit older in this. So maybe if you're being generous, let's say 20 years between. Okay. Between Apocalypse. And is, is, there a, is there a dome? Is there a thunder dome? There is a thunder dome. Okay, what do we think of that? The thunder <laughs> Interestingly, the Thunderdome. <laughs> <laughs> what do I think of it? You know the song Wild Wild West, I think it is. The Tupac song. No, California. No, it's not Wild Wild West. California. Welcome to the Wild Wild West. This is about California. It's a song about California okay. by Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> and, and in the video, they're in the Thunderdome for some reason. <laughs> and it's the same set. <laughs> that came out like 15 years later or something. So there's something. That's hilarious. The Thunderdome secret. There's one fight sequence in the Thunderdome. Yep. All right. I, I don't want to spoil anything. Spoil the Mad Max trilogy. What if Come someone on. wants to watch this? My recommendation is you don't watch any of these films. <laughs> don't watch any <laughs> of them. Before we get it. Don't watch them. All right, Mad there's a fight scene in the... All right. The, the Thunderdome fight scene. They have one. Yeah. It's based on a an archaic rule where Mad Max needs to... He basically needs to barter in Barter Town with the leader, Tina Turner. Okay. And she wants him to defeat someone who's essentially running it through the shadows by basically having a monopoly over the pig crap okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah okay. so tina turner manages to orchestrate this situation where they're going to fight in the thunderdome and that involves just having an altercation okay. and then someone goes thunderdome <laughs> and, okay and yeah, yeah. by the way all of their laws and customs has like some weird guy come in and like recite a poem about yeah, 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 yeah. it's really weird i saw that in fury i saw like the kind of thing <laughs> going on doing that he also like at one point they spin a wheel for what sort of punishment you get and he, he comes back again to talk about the wheel okay in the thunderdome fight so not only are they in a dome where everyone can kind of climb around and see through it's kind of like a netted almost dome yeah so it's a big construct sort of like the sort of stuff you get in playgrounds which people can climb on little yep. kids it looks like that but massive not that big also they're on like bungee jump bungee cords which i didn't know going into it i knew there was a fight in a thunderdome but i didn't know they thought like, <laughs> they're, 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 like springing about each other <laughs> this they're makes like, as much sense as the paragliders they used to so fight bad. In this, fight, this fight sequence is dog none shit none of it makes any sense like the whole film was so bad like plot wise you'd have hated this for plot um but what i will say there was a pretty cool tina turner song at the start okay other than that, it was turgid. 4.9. <laughs> turgid. Give it a miss. I love that. I, I did say, I, I put for all of these, which ones I must watch before going to see Furiosa. And this one was not. Yeah, okay. 4.9. Okay. And that's the lowest score I've ever given anything. Yeah, okay. Number four. Mad Max. The first one. The genesis of the franchise. Max is a cop in a post-apocalyptic Australian wasteland where power and authority is measured in horsepower. Although there is one or two cool moments in this cult hit, it is otherwise dog shite. <laughs> I don't really understand how it spawned such a successful franchise. I didn't enjoy it. 5.1. Don't watch. Very good. Probably better than the third. I actually originally had them the other way around, but I thought, okay, there are. there's one moment in particular right at the end literally the last scene is quite cool okay and you it's the only scene i'd ever seen from the mad max series before watching any of the films i knew of this scene i was like that looks like a really cool film and it is so bad it's a bad film bad film, bad film. weird not it doesn't know what it's going for at least in the next one so number three is is all from the original trilogy the first three bad films okay mad max the road warrior which is considered the best by everyone else and i would probably agree slightly um 
So the zenith of the original series for many, this follows a more hardened Max Rokotansky who has embarked on his desert jihad and finds himself in a position where he could be an unlikely hero to a community in the desert. Something he does in, in Fury Road and in and in Road Beyond Thunderdome. <laughs> Whatever. Stupid names. It's always him almost getting in a situation where he finds a family, but instead he just goes off on the road again. Okay. And everyone like, left to remember how cool he was. <laughs> Mel Gibson is cool. Uh, yeah. I mean, in this anyway, in mean, okay. real life, whatever. Um, and he's very handsome. So that's something. Uh, this one works better than the first. I did have a reason why this one is better because it embraced the apocalypse more fully. So the first in particular is kind of in between. And, okay. and part of that will be budget. Like they could only do what they... they yeah, they're yeah, yeah. within some sort of constraint. Um, so whereas the first is supposed to have a semblance of society still intact, and that's part of the reason they have almost have a police force in place, which are just leather clad. Which is well, well, which is well. Yeah. Um, this made the bizarreness feel more acceptable, and there yeah. was some bizarreness in this, I can tell you. Um, it's still not very good. 5.5, 5, don't okay. bother. So, so, so a bigger gap between... Yeah, we've got 4.9... Up to five point five. That's that's the range that I that so I went all to. All bad films. All bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, I really want to just say I didn't enjoy watching any of them. Okay. Like I was there at Don't all points. Them. Like, oh man, I can't believe I'm watching. Appreciate this. the grind that you've put in. For yeah, they weren't man. they weren't enjoyable. Okay, so the second then is Furiosa, the most recent instalment prequels Fury Road, giving us a backstory for one of its more intriguing characters. The improvements in special and practical effects since the 80s have definitely added to the crash-bang wallop nature of George Miller's vision. So he's going for action, and at least in the more modern ones, you've got modern technology, so I could kind of enjoy it slightly more. Like in the, the Plot-wise, you're not enjoying any of these films that much, but at least with the newer ones, it's stuff that's kind of a spectacle, mm -hmm. whereas the spectacle in the old ones are like just old spectacle. Yeah. Um, the plot has interesting wrinkles, particularly if you've watched Fury Road, as many of its mysteries are answered. Still, a mediocre villain and no real weight to any of the emotional pull of the plot means you're really just here for the spectacle. And I'd argue that the spectacle wasn't as spectacular as the next on the list. Uh, 6.2. Not worth going if you haven't watched Fury Road. And even then, you're not going to lose any sleep over missing it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and you Which, would argue... Po Post-discussion, I feel like you might even want to give a lower score. Yeah, I, I would give a lower score. And it's actually re-evaluating the next score I'm about to give. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Max Fury Road, number one. The okay. best film. It is the best film okay. in the franchise is Fury Road. I've rewatched it recently and it was the one I didn't is the one i disliked the least yeah okay following on from the mad max scrap of the week formula um you've got a reboot 30 years after the original um no not after the original after beyond thunderdome and in this max essentially ends up on a two-hour road trip with an albino and another man's wives okay. led then by this new partner in crime furiosa the troop is once again on an impossible mission on impossible mission impossible <laughs> <laughs> It's actually it marked it as Australian Mission Impossible, this. Um, on an impossible mission against a faux deity and his army of monster trucks. While the story is, again, pretty dumb, it is maybe the least dumb in a series of dumb films, breathing life into a franchise that would have been better off dead. <laughs> Brilliant. 6.8. Wait, that's a good review. That I don't even though. think it's a 6.8. I'll, I'll, I'll say, I'll keep it as, because... That's kind of what we effective. do for some reason. But yeah, look, I've watched all these films this week and I would have rather had my time back. Yeah, I don't, don't blame you. You don't man. need to do it. Don't you don't do need it. to don't need to do it other than to say look, you've watched if it. You're, if you're trying to work through classics, right? <laughs> and you're choosing between the Mad Max films or literally anything else. Yeah. I'd have rather watched Citizen Kane. Again. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I'd rather watch don't be Citizen. ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Freddy. Citizen Grain. I don't know rather watch again. Yeah, this these oh I just the one thing that I kept thinking, particularly on the original series, is how did this how did this happen? How did yeah. we get to the point where this yeah. is not just some weird thing that people like have as a, a an odd pub quiz question, like where someone's like, Oh, what did George Miller make? Yeah. 
Mad Max. Have you ever heard of Mad Max? Oh, it's fucking weird as hell. And Don't not watch good. them. It's not just... Instead, we've got two. I mean, Fury Road's all right. It is all right. Like, yeah, okay. It's like it's dumb. Plot's dumb. But it, but it all takes place on one road. Okay. Like at least it's quite simple. And <laughs> <laughs> they're not trying to buy off more than they can chew. <laughs> It's just it's a, such a pile of garbage. Yeah. Okay, well, I I really like that. And I, I'll no, tell you no. what, if you did too, don't forget to like and subscribe. Sure, yeah, if you like that.